Hello there. Today, we are going to be building what I'm referring to as a mongrel mongoose. So what is a mongrel mongoose, I hear you asking? Well, effectively, it's a Armiton mongoose frame um, using various bits and pieces I have from all over the place. So it's not really built to be made. I haven't bought all the bits specially for this. I've literally got a few bits and pieces together and I'm going to make something out of it. So, first of all, we have our Armiton mongoose uh, packaging. So this came from uh, Infinity Drone uh, in the UK. So they provided me this. So I, they were pretty quick at getting this to me as well. So it's a nice little package, usual Armiton sort of stuff. So you get battery strap, all of your gear in here. So everything you need to build it is in the package. So let's open that. So arms, feet, top plates, bottom plates, all the foam bits, various stickers, all your standoffs and various bits and pieces. So uh, the Armiton Mongoose is a 5 inch racing frame, uh, so it has, uh, it also takes a micro camera, so it has the smaller form factor camera. So what I've done is I have got a Runcam Eagle mini which I'm also going to do a little review on I might have already released it by this point but I don't know today so that is a really nice little camera so I happen to have one of those so I'm going to be putting that in this frame I also have a seal racing f4s flight controller all-in-one flight controller sorry uh, so that was sent to me from Armiton for review so that's going to go in this frame as well that will again either be sent that will either be uh, released or not by the time I send this out so I, hopefully there'll be a video if there is I'll link to it and then usual sort of suspects so I'll be running the Speedex 30 amp ESCs in there so my normal sort of bits and pieces for that um, I'm going to be running a Unified Pro that I've nabbed a Unify Pro race edition which I'm gonna I nicked out of uh, another drone that I have so I'm gonna be using one of those coupled with a Luminaire Axi Stubby because the other one was really really good so I'll be using one of those FR Sky XM Plus because I don't need any fancy features it's really just simple Billy Basics here um, and I will also be, I also got a nice little mount for the back of it, so that should be going in there as well. Now the bit of this that's a bit naff is I'm running, just going to be running some older um, red bottoms, so the RS2205 red bottom motors. These have, I've had, I've got plenty of these floating around. Um, I will probably upgrade this to have better motors at some point, and that will probably be in another video. But for the moment, we're just going to use these and they will be a good starting point. So these are the 23,000 uh, 23, yeah, 23, kV uh, motors. So these aren't the really super fast ones, but these will do for getting it up in the air and making it fly. So I will now cut to a frame of it actually being built. Right, before I get too far into building these, so sunk nuts, so you saw from my rooster build that it suggested you hammered them in. Um, some of the best things I've seen online were people using um, presses to put them in. I haven't got a press. So what I've decided to do is I'm using quite a, a, basically a motor screw, one of the larger, bigger headed screws. And all I'm doing is I'm going to place the sunk nut into the hole. Well, I'm going to put the screw through the hole, like so. Get the sunk nut into position. Screw that down. And just gradually ease that in using my hex driver till it's nicely in. And it's flush. There we go. And I can just let that off. And that puts my sunk light in position. So that's a much easier way of doing it for this particular build. So I'm going to now put this together and make this into a frame.
Right, so that's the Armiton Mongoose frame put together. I haven't tightened these up, I haven't talked these down in any way, shape or form, so this is a little little bit wobbly at the moment, but um, overall that was really quick and easy to build. Um, getting the sunk nuts in, now I've got that technique, really makes that nice and easy. Uh, you've got lots of camera room at the front. You've got some space at the back for your XT60 to hang down, so that's quite nice. Um, so you, it's quite small arms. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed how small this is in comparison to something like my Rooster or my Chameleon. Um, so it's a nice, straightforward build. Um, you've got space in the centre for your stack. I'm gonna guess that these little holes would allow you to put some form of standoff vertically upwards um, into the top plate. Um, nothing in the pack. I'll have to ask. Um, I'll pop something onto the uh, Armiton forum, see if, there, if there's any answers on it. Um, but overall, that was pretty nice. So I'm going to put that down here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I will load it up with um, equipment. Right, this is by Magic, a finished mongoose. Really enjoyed this build, really enjoyable. Um, a, Everything was just really straightforward. Everything fitted really nicely. There is loads of space now, and I'm using only a single stack, but there is enough space in there for at least another board, and if you, yeah, at least another board in there. Um, everything fits in there really nicely. The spacing is sensible. Um, there isn't a lot of clearance for props. Um, I don't think you could get away with running anything much bigger um, unless you could go higher. Um, so if there's some props that are slightly higher on the, the prop line, um, then it might be allow you to go a little bit bigger, but realistically it's a five inch prop, so they're gonna that's about the best you're gonna get. So there's not a lot of clearance there and a lot, a lot of clearance there. Camera angle wise, um, you can run quite a lot of rake on this, you can run it quite high, um, quite a lot of angle. Um, it is limited a little bit um, because I'm running the Eagle, so it's got a very large lens. So I can't fit the lens cap on it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it is, yeah, I mean, that's about, probably around about 45 degrees of um, camera angle, which is quite a lot. Um, I normally run about 30, so it's quite a bit. Um, so for racing-wise, we'll see how we get on. Never flown a racing frame. So... I think what we'll do next is I'm going to take this out and fly around the field and let you know how it goes. Right, so we finally got some good weather in the UK, so I managed to get a quick cheeky fly while I was uh, away with the family. Uh, apologies for the DVR footage because I don't fit a GoPro to this. So this flight was really me just sort of playing about with it. Um, I have flown a few more times over this drone and every time I've been so impressed with um, how stable it is in flight and the fact that it's a stretched X and how that changes how it performs it it really feels like it's sort of the lock-in was right there straight away and it really did feel very stable um, what I need to do is up the rates because the rates are a bit odd for me but that's more to do with the play uh, the craft not the the way the frame is um, I crashed this into the tree a couple of times uh, not in this footage I'm afraid um, I also hit some scraggle there's a lot of scraggle around here um, I took out three quads while I was here and they all lost props and various bits and pieces but overall I'm really impressed with how this frame flies it is so stable it's really really good it doesn't have the warranty but it's 35 quid it was really really good so I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a racing frame it's really easy to work on really solid anyway I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time